guys. We are back for, I guess, the start of this build series. So you may notice some things that are different. Uh, first of all, I was able to get new tires. So I picked these up used from a buddy of mine. I got five uh, of these, I guess, Jeep. I think they came off of a, a uh, Cherokee uh, Jeep wheels and five Goodyear Wranglers for 300 bucks. So uh, they're in pretty good shape. They've got about 50% tread left, I'd say. So they should last me another 10 or 15, maybe 20,000 miles. So I was really happy about that, and now I don't need to buy a spare wheel, which is awesome. Uh, as you can see, we've also got the top off the, I've got a bunch of boring stuff, like the lights are working now, uh, we just got done bleeding the brakes, the clutch has new fluid in it. We've got to do some other boring stuff, but today we have a ton of exciting things. So if you'll come over here, uh, first and foremost, we've got a Schmitty built uh, front bumper. I think this is like called the classic style front bumper or something for the YJ. We have got the spare tire carrier. This is from Rugged Ridge. This was super cheap. I think it was like 60 bucks or something like that. We are going to be adding a cable uh, lockout kit. So I'll be able to control whether the drive shaft spins or not with the cable instead of that vacuum system that's not working. So this was pretty cool. I think this was 50 bucks or so. And I'm trying to think. Um, I've got wheel spacers coming in, so that'll give it a nice wider stance. These wheels kind of tucked in a little bit more. Uh, I've got some basic maintenance stuff. I've got an exhaust coming in. Um, so I should basically be able to cover all of that in this episode. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, oh, duh, the soft top. So we've got the entire Smitty wheel soft top super cheap really good deal i wanted to do a pickup truck hardtop um but i reached out to the company that makes those to see if they'd be willing to do some kind of product sponsorship thing and they were not really hip on it so unfortunately we're just going with the traditional soft top cheap look but uh without further ado let's start bolting this stuff on all right so uh, we've got a bucket of bullets we've got it looks like a tire carrier. It's like three places where you can put a bolt on the top and two where you can, where you can put it on the bottom. A little off. It's almost like it needs to be bent a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I actually had to take this thing and put it on the floor and just take my shoe and bend it a little bit. I guess it got a little bent in shipping or it wasn't. Uh, manufactured perfectly, but it seems to line up now. So um, I'm just gonna start bolting this on. So I assume these big bolts are for studs for the tire to mount to. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on in fast motion here. All right, check it out. She's got a tire. It looks good. I think it looks it looks more like a Jeep now. All right, folks. Now we're putting on the soft top. Hopefully, it's not too bad. We'll let you know uh, if there's any surprises.
All right, folks, I also got the bumper on, too. Uh, I did that off-camera just because I'm running out of space on this memory card. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fast-forwarded footage of this video, I'm sure. But take a look at this. I think this looks fantastic. I went with the real, just simple, <coughs> minimalist-type bumper. To me, I'll get a little closer look for you. I've got my winch plate on top of it. There's no winch on it. Uh, but to me, this bumper looks like it belongs on this Jeep. And the silver hooks, I, I usually would probably do those in red, but that with those wheels, I think that looks really nice. The big reason I got this bumper is so I could flat tow this Jeep behind that blue Jeep you saw in the first video, which actually, it's my girlfriend's Jeep. Um, obviously, I have concerns of this possibly breaking down, so I want to have a backup plan in case that ever happens. I really have no fear in the world about flat towing with this bumper now. I think this will work, look perfect. And I just like it, man. It looks, it looks aesthetic. All right. <clears throat> I also got these really sick wheel spacers. I'm gonna go out and get these on. These are inch and a half spacers. I'll put a link in the description. They seem pretty quality, but I'm not gonna show the installation process because that takes forever. So I'm just gonna do, do one of these. All right, I'm also gonna go ahead and stick the winch back on there, and same thing as the wheels. Not really exciting to watch me install this, so. That was a job. I was not expecting all that fabrication work. And by fabrication, I mean drilling holes, basically, but still, wow. All right, so uh, I don't remember where I left off in the video, but quick update. New headlights are on, they look freaking slick. Uh, what else, mirrors, mirrors are on. I've wired a quick disconnect to the winch. But right now I'm actually bolting on new shocks. So uh, let me flip the camera back around again. So those are my new shocks right here. This is just the Quadratech shock kit, straight from Quadratech. Uh, super, super cheap. I think it was like, I want to say like 200 bucks or something for four shocks. So there's the new one in there. Looks pretty nice. I like the white. And here is what came out. <laughs> and it's hard to quantify this on a video, but shocks aren't supposed to uh, be able to do this. So, plus it has fluid coming out of it. And all, I, I mean, this Jeep is going to handle so much better. All right, lads. Well, I can't believe it, but phase one of the build is complete. Uh, I'm gonna do a little montage here. We're gonna be outside. I think I'm even gonna get some rolling shots, but just real quick, some of the things I did that were not captured on camera, because I know we jumped around a lot here. And I may have mentioned some of these. New body bushings, changed all the fluids, but I had to change the shift boot and some other stuff in there. Took the track bar off. Uh, that's kind of a controversial thing. It should still handle fine without the track bar and it's less bindy and there's a lot less rough ride. So do your own research on that, but it did help with mine a little bit. All that stuff, plus there's like a million other little things I'm not even gonna go over. Uh, that took a ton of time. This has been actually about a two week project, believe it or not. So anyway, I'll shut up enough blabbing. Let's uh, see what this beast looks like now.
guys enjoyed that episode. It needs more. Ball joints are worn out. I just figured out. Uh, exhaust fumes are getting in the cockpit still, so need some maintenance type work. Um, but we're doing well. We're only at about eight or eighty five hundred bucks, I think. And uh, really, I think my budget for this thing is about fifteen grand. <laughs> Once we get around that much. Uh, we're going to be with a pretty cool Jeep. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do next to this bad boy. But she's looking pretty good. I'm hopefully going to be taking it out for the first trip uh, this weekend. Kind of just going to replace or repair it as I break it. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Follow along for the progress on this build. The, I'm gonna call it the 5K YJ, because I bought it for about 5,000 bucks. Okay, don't tell anyone, 5,800, I cheated it a little bit. But the 5K YJ project, uh, so far this is about a fifth of the cost of my entire Humvee. So uh, there'll be a lot of off-road videos coming up once I finish, finish the build. But I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for your support. Hope you can like and subscribe. And uh, I love you, goodbye.